Greetings to all my friends in the Linfield Catholic Collaborative. I'm reaching out to you with heaviness in my heart today. As many of you have heard, I was informed last week that I will be transferred to the Collaborative of St. Anthony of Padua in Cohasset and St. Mary of the Assumption in Hull beginning June 1st. While going about preparing the lessons for classes at OLA or helping with the various technological needs of the Collaborative to bring the Word of God to you virtually, I had lost track of time and really didn't think at this point that I would be moved into the fall at the very least. But alas, the call came and this is the life I'm discerning. Part of that life is to move obediently when I am asked to by my superiors. While I am and was willing to move, as I was told, it was of course emotionally troubling to me especially after building such a strong relationship with Our Lady of the Assumption School. When I arrived here back in September, Father Paul asked me to pay special attention to the needs of the school, but I really didn't know how to proceed given that I had never worked with a parochial school before. One day walking through the playground, I saw a gym class playing basketball and I walked over and introduced myself to the class and to the gym teacher, Coach Melissa. After the initial greetings, I asked her what I could do to help the school. Her response was, can you just be present? And from that recommendation, a beautiful thing happened. I embraced the school community and you embraced me. While I had other responsibilities in the collaborative, I essentially became a religion teacher and campus minister to the school. This experience has truly changed my life and I will never forget the love and support I've received from the community. Someone put it best recently, it's not just a school, it's a family. It is understandably hard for you and it is for me as well. I have often been thanked for my contributions to the school this year, but whatever I have given, I have been given back tenfold. Last week I was praying daytime prayer and the reading stopped me cold. Since you have been raised up in company with Christ, set your heart on what pertains to higher realms where Christ is seated at God's right hand. Be intent on things above rather than on things of earth. This reminded me that I am going down this vocational path for one reason, to bring more people to God. If I can bring more people into a relationship with Jesus Christ, then maybe I might get pulled along with them, moving ever closer to our final home in heaven. Part of this is to follow the path laid out for me by the Holy Spirit, even if it does not always mesh with my own wishes. Good will come of this, I promise you. Please know that I love all of you, and I thank you for everything that you have given me. God bless you all. Oremus pro invicium. Let us pray for one another.